this May of 2020, so last year, this is what Dr. Fauci said about the origins of the COVID-19 virus. If you look at the evolution of the virus in bats and what's out there now, it's very, very strongly leaning towards this could not have been artificially or deliberately manipulated the way the mutations have naturally evolved. When everybody was belittling Donald Trump and saying he doesn't know what he's talking about, he's incorrect, it's a conspiracy theory, here was the problem. It wasn't a conspiracy theory. He had, of course, the president had access to information we didn't have and that Anthony Fauci probably did not have. And the fact of the matter is now they're all backtracking. This is May of this year, this month. So I wanted to ask, are you still confident that it developed naturally? No, I'm not convinced uh, about that. I think that we should continue to investigate what went on in China. He's not convinced now that it developed naturally. It's kind of like a double negative. We know what this means. So when he says it's not convinced it developed naturally, he doesn't finish the next sentence, which would be that it developed intentionally. Intentionally, yeah. I want to know what happened in the year intervening to make him say no. When asked the question, are you still confident that it developed naturally? He says, and I quote, no, I'm not convinced about that. What happened in that intervening year to make the change? Reports started leaking out. That's what happened. Information started getting out. And, and Harry's the director of policy. When information starts getting out, what do these people do? Start trying to get current with the most recent information. He is covering himself. But the reality, of course, is all of this is about assuring the American people that he is not incompetent. And I think the clear evidence suggests quite the contrary. So I've been talking about this since spring of last year, over a year ago now. Every piece of evidence that we have seen in that year suggests that the Wuhan Institute of Virology is the place from which this virus leaked. We know they were doing virus studies on bat viruses. We know that the military was involved in work at that same laboratory. We now know that there were workers at that laboratory who were hospitalized with symptoms consistent with the Wuhan virus. All of this data set leads me to the conclusion that this came from there. And if that's not true, the Chinese Communist Party could disprove it in a minute. And they've chosen not to do so. President Trump talked about it. He, he, he was open about this. He got slammed. Have you seen anything at this point that gives you a high degree of confidence that the Wuhan Institute of Virology was the origin of this virus. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. He was slammed by the oh, media, mocked. slammed by Fauci, and now Fauci is saying the same thing, that it likely, that, that we need to do the research because it could have originated in the lab. So how much of this was playing politics with people's lives, playing politics with trying not to blame China, because we know the left, they love China, uh, because they all make so much money from China, starting with the Biden family on down. Now, whether they leaked it out intentionally to cause a world pandemic, that evidence hasn't come yet. That would be steps down the road. I don't know if it'll end up showing that, but that's exactly why an investigation needs to happen. Unfortunately, you have Jid Psaki. This is, you know, her, her whole response is it's all about the World Health Organization. I mean, this is this is what she has said. I mean, take a listen when they're asked about, you know, who's going to get to the bottom of this? Well, they're still putting it into the World Health, Health Organization, which as, during the Trump administration stopped funding because they were lackeys and still are for China. Why isn't President Biden pushing for more access, more information to get to the bottom of exactly what happened? We are. Uh, and we have repeatedly called for the WHO to, to support an expert-driven evaluation of the pandemic's origins that is free from interference or politicization. Could the Biden administration put more pressure on China to get a more uh, a reliable investigative team, whether it was made up of Americans and people from other countries, but maybe outside the WHO, who even, I guess, the Biden administration is acknowledging now they don't believe their first investigation uh, should be uh, should be accepted. The Biden administration and, and folks who became part of the Biden administration were turning to the WHO investigation as this was our solution. There were people with conflicts of interest. And second, anytime you're doing this at the permission of the Chinese Communist Party, they're going to give you curated information that doesn't amount to a hill of beans. It was a total failure. The WHO doesn't have the capacity. It's going to take real state power to convince the Chinese Communist Party to cooperate going to be really hard to do. I, I don't make light of that. You can't conduct pretend investigations and then have doctors, including folks like Dr. Fauci, who talked about that WHO investigation is something that might lead to important discoveries. We knew it was doomed to fail when it began. We shouldn't have relied upon it at any point in time. This idea, again, this is from the New York uh, Magazine. 
how the liberal media dismissed the lab leak theory and smeared its supporters. And now, of course, because Dr. Fauci is open to this theory, uh, there's been a complete change in the media. Washington Post said how the Wuhan lab today, how the Wuhan lab leak theory is suddenly credible. It's suddenly credible just because the person that said maybe it happened is someone they liked and it isn't Donald Trump and someone from the Trump administration like former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Even though the, no, no, nothing has changed. Same intel. It's because of the, the voice behind it. And now even the, our HHS secretary saying there needs to be a new investigation into China. But they're not willing to investigate on their own. They're relying on the failed WHO, which is in the pocket, is owned by the Chinese.